why headings are important to screen reader users. Imagine if all web pages on the internet look like this. It would make reading articles on the web very tedious. Instead, we use headings to provide structure and help us find our way around documents. In this video, I'll talk about why using correct HTML heading structure is so important to people who use screen readers and other accessible technologies. I'll also show you how a screen reader would use headings to navigate around a document and what happens when a document doesn't have any headings. So what are HTML headings? HTML has six heading levels, each labelled H1 to H6, with H1 being the most important heading and H6 being the least important. The H1 heading is only ever used once per page and represents the main heading of the page. The remaining levels can be used as many times as needed, but must be in order. This is an example of how you would write a, he a heading in your HTML code. If you're using a content management system such as WordPress, then it's easy to add headings to your documents. The title of my document is a level 1 heading and the WordPress assigns this automatically for me. To add a new heading, I click on the Add Block button, come down to Heading, choose what level of heading I want, so in this case a H2, and now I can just type in my heading. Why should we use headings? When a sighted person looks at a web page, they use several factors such as the size, colours, fonts and position of text to get clues on how the page is structured. So in this example, we can see that the main heading is larger than everything else, it's centred and it's bold. And this is a H1 level heading. The section headings are bold and they're underlined. And these are level 2 headings. And finally we have the subheadings for each section which are bold and these are level 3 headings. When a person uses a screen reader they have access to none of these navigational clues. Screen readers simply read the text on the screen. They have no way of knowing what is and isn't important. So we have to tell them the structure of the document. And one of the ways of doing this is by using the HTML headings. The screen reader user can then navigate the document using the tools built into their screen reader software. Using headings correctly will also help search engines to know what is and isn't important on a web page. So in this example I want to find out about the health of main cats. So I'm going to move into the web area. Item choose a menu. Web 13 items. Web content. You are currently on web content. To enter the web area, press Ctrl, Option, Shift, Down Arrow. In web content, heading level 1, main coon. In heading level 1, main coon. So the screen reader has announced the title of the page, and it's already told me that I'm currently on a, a level 1 heading. So it'd be quite useful to know how many headings and links there are on this page. So I'm going to ask for a summary of the page. Main Coon with headings HTML page has 11 headings. And that tells me that this document has 11 headings. So I'm looking for information on health. So it would be useful to have a list of all of the headings. Headings menu. Most screen readers will allow people to do this. It will display a list of headings and links and form controls. So that way the user can use the arrow keys. Heading level 1, heading level 2, history, heading level 1, main coon. To navigate the heading list, I just want to see the section headings. So I can press 2 on my keyboard. Level 2 headings menu. Just to see the section headings. And now I can use the arrow key to come down to health. Heading level 2, history, heading level 2. Description. Heading level 2. Health. Heading level 2. Health. 
You are currently on a heading level 2. Inside web content. To exit this web area, press Ctrl, Option, Shift, Up arrow. Pet insurance data obtained from a study during years 2000. If I wanted to go back to the main heading, the level 1 heading, I can hold down the Shift key and press 1. Heading level 1. Main Coon. You are currently on. And if I just wanted to move through the headings one by one, I press the letter H. Heading level 2. History. Heading level 3. Origin. Heading level 3. Cat shows and popularity. So now let's have a look at what happens when you navigate a document that doesn't have any headings. So at first glance, this document looks exactly the same as the one that I've just demonstrated. Except that I've stripped all of the heading counts out of it. So the headings that you see on screen, or rather the text on screen that's formatted like headings, is, is just that, it's purely formatted text. So let's see how our screen reader handles it. So I'm going to move to the web content area. Item choose a menu. Th web content. Web content. You are currently on web content. To enter the web area, press control, option, shift, down arrow. In web content, main coon. So even though the screen reader has announced the text at the top of the page, it hasn't said that it's a heading, like it did last time. So like I did last time, I'm going to ask for a summary of what's on this page. Main coon HTML. And all it does is read out the file name to me. So I can't get any information from that. So now let's see what happens if I ask for a list of headings. No items in web spot menu. Windows spot menu. No items in web spot menu. Main coon. So there's nothing there to help me navigate. If I press the letter H. Heading not found. Or if I press a heading number, so if I press number 2, which would take me to the next section 2 heading. Heading not found. I just get heading not found. So the only way I can navigate this document is to actually search the text. So I can bring up a search box. Enter search text. Previous search. Health. A. A. L. T. H. And press enter. The main Coon is a large and sociable cat, hence its nickname, the Gentle Giant. It is characterized by... So it started reading a paragraph of text to me. Uh, so now let's see, as I move through this document, if I can find more information on health. 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 You are currently on a text element, inside web content. To exit this web area, press Ctrl, Option, Shift, Up arrow. So you can see now on screen that it's landed on the text that's formatted to be the health section. However, there's nothing here to tell me that this is a heading. It's, you know, I've no way of knowing that this piece of text is any more important than any other. So hopefully that's just giving you a bit of an idea of how easier it is to navigate a document when the headings are formatted correctly and how hard it is to navigate a document when it doesn't have any headings at all. So now let's have a look at some of the common mistakes people make with headings. First of all, as we've just seen in the previous example, where formatted text is used instead of headings. So we saw that whilst the text looks fine on screen, to a screen reader, it just looks like a big block of text and is very difficult to navigate. Next is using headings instead of formatted text. So it's quite common on web pages for the first paragraph of an article to be in a larger font or a more bold font than the rest of the body text. However, in this case, a H2 level heading has been used to achieve this. If you need to format a paragraph, then this should be done with the style sheet for the web page. The next one is using headings out of order. So the headings should be in a hierarchical order, 
uh, but in this case we can see that H4 comes after H1. Uh, we've got H2 but then H3 is missing. So how can you check that the headings on your website are correct? One option is to use the Headings Map plugin for Firefox, which is free and it shows a nice little tree of your heading structure and if there are any errors uh, it will show it up in red so you can immediately see where where there's something wrong with your headings. The next option is to use a web accessibility evaluation tool uh, in this case called WAVE which is available from WebAIM. Uh, this is free as well as telling you about your heading structure, it will also highlight other accessibility problems with your page. You can also try navigating your website with a screen reader. If you're using Windows, then NVDA is a free screen reader which you can download. And if you've got a Mac, you've already got access to a screen reader in the form of VoiceOver. So you just need to go into System Preferences, Accessibility and voiceover. We hope you found this video helpful. If you did then please hit the like button and consider subscribing to our channel to find out when we create new videos. If you'd like to learn more about Sight Airedale then please visit our website or join us on Facebook.